Hey guys, Visual Studio Code is the most popular and widely used code editor for any kind of application development. Let us see how to set up Visual Studio Code on our local mission and also let us see some of the useful Visual Studio Code extensions that we use very often. Let's get started. As a first step, let us download the Visual Studio Code EXE. So go to the browser, search for VS Code Download. Go to the download page of Visual Studio Code and depending on your OS, select the setup file. So I am using the Windows operating system. So I am going to select the Windows. It will download the EXE file. Once the download completes, click on the EXE file to install it. It will launch installation prompt and select I accept the agreement. Click on next. If you'd like to change the path of installation, you can use the browse options. Otherwise, just cancel it. Click on next, next and for desktop icon, select this gray desktop icon. And if you'd like to add the Visual Studio Code shortcut to the contest menu that we get when you right click anywhere in computer. So just select this, click on next, click on install. It will install it very quickly. As launch Visual Studio Code checkbox is already checked, it will launch the Visual Studio Code once you click on the finish button. At first sight, Visual Studio Code will look like this. Here we have the options to change the theme. The default theme selected is dark. If you'd like to have the light, you can select it. And if you'd like to have the dark high contrast, you can select this. So I would like to have the dark. Let's go through the menu. We have the file option using which we can create the new file and open the new file or open the project from the folder and we have many options to change the theme everything and then we have the another important option that is view so using view we can change the appearance of our visual studio code like if you don't want to see this status bar which appears here in pink color you can just unselect it and that will disappear the same way Left side we have the activity bar and this activity bar having few options like explorer if you'd like to see the project folder structure and project files you can select it and if you'd like to search anything like some project file or something then you can use this search area and this is the source control section where you can see your pending changes or even you can push your changes or merge your code to the source controller like git and we have the debug options here and also we have the option to open the extensions window and back to the view if you don't want to see this activity bar all the time just select appearance and just unselect show activity bar same way if you want to close any window that is open like explorer or this extensions you can just drag left side and another very very important option that is terminal so to execute any npm command or anything we often use you know command prompt right so we open the command prompt and so we use the command prompt to create the new angular application or you know new react application or even to run the c sharp application or anything so instead of opening the command prompt separately we can make use of inbuilt option that is terminal click on terminal new terminal or you can use the control shift tilde symbol and it will launch the you know, PowerShell or command prompt. In my case, PowerShell is the default one, so it just opened PowerShell. And here, you can use the commands the way you use the commands in command prompt or PowerShell outside. So we can simply say here npm v or any command that you know, node v that will work. Even you can open the command prompt terminal. So for that, we can just click on this drop down and then select the command prompt. So now this will open the command prompt terminal. The same way you can choose another like JavaScript debug terminal. If you'd like to change the position of this terminal where it appears, just right click and you can move to the right side. If you'd like to see side by side, like if you left side, you can see the file and right side, you can see the terminal. Now let us see the very very useful extension that is live servers that we use very often. Let's create a new HTML file, file, new file and save. I'm going to save it in the folder test and I'm going to say index.html. 
to create the HTML skeleton, you can use the emit feature of VS Code. So I have already made a video on how to use the emit to write quick HTML and CSS. Please refer my suggested video. So use the SKML symbol and press the enter. So it will give the HTML skeleton. Let's have a H1 element with some text like without live server. And to run this, we need to go to the folder where we saved index.html and just open it. So here you can see without live server. And if you make any other new change, we need to manually reload this HTML file. For example, do new change and save it. As soon as you save it, you don't see the changes in the browser. You need to manually reload it. So now with live server, we can avoid this manually reloading. So it will automatically reload the browser. So control shift X for opening the extensions. Otherwise you can choose the view extensions too. So here search for live server. Select the first option like live server by Ritwik Day. Install. And once it is installed, just close this. And here if you want to increase the font, you can use the control and plus symbol. So right click open with the live server. Here we get the error open a folder or workspace. We need to open the folder where we have saved our HTML. So file open folder. Now select this text, select folder. And this time we are going to see the explorer. So left side we have the explorer and also we will be prompted with this dialog box. Here just select the trust the others of all files in the parent folder desktop and just click on yes I trust the others and then just click on HTML page and inside the HTML page right click and this time select open with the live server and this is going to launch new instance of Chrome and here you can see now without live server new change and let's make another change like so this time I am going to say with live server save it see as soon as you save it you can see the changes reflected in the browser and we can avoid manual reloads so again one more time h2 other change save it there we go we can see the another change too so this way this is very useful now let's see another useful extension for formatting the code and that is prettier so let's say you have a div and let's have some long test okay so i am going to have some long test and just save it to see the end tag of the div you need to scroll till the end of the right so now let's install the prettier and see how prettier can solve our formatting issues so once again control shift x and here search for prettier prettier code formatter and just install it just scroll down and copy the line using which we can make prettier as default code formatter we need to go to the settings json file of widget today code for that click on file preferences settings select text editor and somewhere you will find option to open the settings.json here we have settings.json and i am going to just remove that in here just paste that code whatever we copied now save it go to the file and we need to make one more change like preferences settings click on test editor formatting here select format on paste and format on save and now just come here and save it there we go now we can see end tag of this div comes to the next line not just the html code you can also format any kind of code like css javascript so let's create the javascript file file new file app.js which is javascript file here let's write some code const test equal to function and let's say console.log hello world just hit enter button three four times and const sum except a comma b and then just return a plus b and just enter save it there we go it is going to format for us automatically it just remove the white space now let us see how to change the theme of your studio code so for that click on the file preferences and here we have the option color theme 
it will show all themes that are already installed so you can just use the up down arrow and you can just simply select and you can see the preview whenever we select the particular theme so light so monarchy solar tomorrow dark blue i would like to have the default dark of your studio code and if you'd like to install the new themes there are some popular view studio code themes like you know owl you can select this night owl dracula is one of the you know famous theme and you can install it and you can just apply and see so like this there are so many themes that you can simply search and you know install and apply to open the explorer you can use the control shift e and here you can see that we have the you know js file and index.html file but we don't see proper icons right if you just create like app.css it is just showing the as and it is not indicating that it is the actual css file right so the same way if you have some c sharp file let's say test.cs and it's just saying c sharp but it is not so clear we can use the material icon theme that will show you the file extensions very effectively so control shift x and search for material icon theme install the material icon theme and as soon as it is installed you will see the change in icon of all the files so just select material icon theme there we go now we can see that here go to the explorer control shift e here now we can see css3 icon and js icon and html5 icon and now we can see c sharp icon properly and the same way for java also let's say test.java now we can see the java symbol now let's explore the settings so file preferences settings and other settings if you'd like to change the cursor style so now the cursor is blinking so if you just use the smooth so now you can see the cursor is very smooth and if you just uh, click on expand now go to the app.js so this time you can see the expand cursor and the same way cursor style so do you want line or block underline thin so just select block and go here so now you can see the block cursor and the same way if you just select underline now you are going to see the, the cursor like you know with underline style even you can change the font so if you want to change the font family like fira or some other font you can just change the font and also this font size so if you want to have the 15 13 you can just use the 13 and you always can change the settings in the settings.json click on this settings.json here we have all the settings that we made like current theme we are using dracula and cursor blinking expands so whatever the changes that we made here by selecting these tabs those will be saved in settings.json file and this settings.json file is saved in your local system so just right click on it and go to the reveal in file explorer and this is the json file and you can simply open it if you want to make the changes you can just make the changes like 14 and save it and you are going to see the change here if you want to reset the changes that you made to just today code you can simply delete this json file content so just select and just remove it save it there we go so back to the basic settings like here now we don't see any file icons and even the theme is normal default theme and even the font size is reset to the default font size and if you just again paste the code and save it then you can see the changes that you made to the yesterday code if you find this video helpful please do hit the like button and also please do subscribe to my channel